Hi everybody, good morning, how do you do? We are back. Um, I am Lily, thank you for joining me today. And we are back to making some faux vellum paper, but this time I have got uh, a collection of papers that I'm going to be using, if I can keep them from falling on the floor. So we're gonna give a few different papers a try and see what the outcome is. I'm going to wax avocado dyed paper. I'm going to try um, doing music paper. I'm gonna try this packaging paper that I've cut down to size. And I'm also going to try dyeing a sheet from a 2008 Yellow Pages book, okay? And uh, let's see, let's see what it is. And I'm gonna try to do them all on camera. Um, let's try, I'm gonna try to go fast to keep this brief, but I did have a couple people ask me about this paper and I'm also really curious to see what this looks like after it's been waxed. I've used brown packaging paper and green packaging paper. This is a lighter packing paper, so let's give it a try. Let's see what the result is. And as before, I'm going to use um, some of this old candle wax. And I will also link the other video of the, of the um, I think it's a green packaging paper, uh, that video on how, how I did that one. So let's get started with this one. Now I'm using a heat gun because Odd Designs in her tutorial, which is where I, I I got this inspiration, she uses a hot iron, excuse me, a heat iron, hello, a heating tool <laughs> to melt the wax and spread throughout the paper. But I've seen other videos where um, uh, some of the people have used an iron and it's a clothing iron, but it doesn't have any of the vent holes. So whatever works for you, but this is, this is what I'm using that has actually worked really good. So I'm using this little teeny bone folder, looks like a, looks like a butter knife, to spread the wax. Be careful you don't hold the heat gun on your fingers or towards your hand for too long because it will burn, this is hot. So what I'm doing is just melting down the wax and also spreading it onto the paper to give it that faux glassine or faux um, vellum look. And so I've had a lot of fun working with the papers that I've already done, especially the brown packaging paper. And if you've seen my one of my most recent videos on how I used the faux, the faux um, brown, uh, wax paper to create a vintage looking tape. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm just going to spread it and then heat it again. This paper right here that I have that I'm using to sandwich the packaging paper in between is wax paper, inexpensive wax paper that I had in the pantry. You can also use parchment paper. So it looks like that has spread as much as it can. So I'm gonna take a little bit more wax And just using a little bit at a, at a time. If I end up using too much wax, I'll grab my second sheet of paper and lay it over this to absorb some of that excess wax. This is a great way to repurpose old pages or junk pages.
and use them to create glassine paper. What's nice about this is you can actually see um, where the wax is so that you can spread it in the direction where more is needed. Now I gotta be gentle that I don't press too hard because again, it's like a little butter knife, though it doesn't have any, it's not serrated, so it, but it can still uh, cut through the paper, through the wax paper, and I wanna make sure that I can reuse this wax paper as often as possible. Looks like I got that corner, so let's just spread this out over here. And it goes by fairly quick. See, I've already torn it there, but I, I wanna avoid that area. So I'm gonna push it over into this area where it looks like it needs some more. See how it spreads right there? Just kind of scoot that excess wax over into that area and you can see how it absorbs it. So I think I'm done with this page. I believe so, let's take a look. Whoa. Yep, I am done with this page. You can see how there's still some of the wax here. So what I'm going to do is take the yellow pages Put it over and see, oh wow it is and it is going to the yellow pages looks like it's picking up some of that excess I don't know how well this yellow pages page is going to work because it, it is really thin but then again so is that other packaging paper underneath but that's what that's why I'm here to play and see what comes about Wow, I think because the paper is so thin, it didn't take much wax. Let's see here. Ooh, that's tearing. Okay, let's put a little bit of wax over here. So I'll avoid that with the hole. I may just have to give in and get a new sheet, but I'll see how far I can go with using this one. Okay. So I'm just gonna lift that. And if I go off, I'm just gonna leave that on the side. Um, it'll cool down and I'll be able to use it somewhere else. So let's take a look. Let's use that right there. I'm really curious to see how the yellow pages is going to look. There's some wax here in this area, so I'm gonna place it over this corner and melt it over this area that seems to need a little bit of waxing. Other than that, I think I, I, think I got the whole page.
Oh, wow. I think I did. Looks like I did. Let me put a page over that really quick to absorb any excess. Yeah, any excess will just come through onto the next page, which is nice. Can you see that? Just, just picking that up. If I had one of those irons that didn't have the steam vent holes, I'd probably give it a try. So if you have one of those, I'm curious to know if you've tried it. You don't want to ruin your steam iron. So that picked up the excess. And I might need a little bit here. So let me cover it and see if I can get any to transfer to that section. And then just gently glide your bone folder across the page. And if there is any excess wax, it'll just move it over. It's done and it looks great, you guys. Needs just a tiny bit right here. Just right there. But it looks and it feels great and I'm wondering that because of that wax coating on it now it's actually made the yellow pages because you know it's newspaper thin it's actually made it a little more durable oh that's fun that is gonna be fun to use look at that can you see that oh I love it and I was re really selective about what pages I was pulling out of the um, of the yellow pages. So this is the garden section <laughs> of the yellow pages. Look at that. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, set this one aside really quick. And this is the packaging one. How is that? Oh, that is pretty cool. There's a little bit of wax still here. So let me get this one, put it over and smooth that section out. So these are the two pages that I was most curious about. And they are looking great. I've loved each paper that I've waxed so far. And I've already started working on projects. If you've been following me for, for a little bit now, you'll see some of the great projects that I've made using the um, faux vellum. We can call it faux vellum or faux glassine. It's all the same. So this one already has a head start. Just needs a little bit more over here. This one is done. Can you see that? Let's take something to hold under. Oh, you guys, this is amazing. This looks wonderful. Look at that. We've just made ourselves some glassine paper. Woohoo! All right. How about this one? Let's give this one a try. Some music paper. Let's get some wax on here. And now I'm okay if I'm a little bit generous with the wax because I know that I can pick it up or absorb it with with other papers. So when I first started, I was a little bit hesitant to use too much wax and actually made a mess. But I've been playing with it enough to be able to manipulate it and kind of gauge how much how much to use. There's a hole there. I'll avoid that section. I think the music paper, if it turns out 
which I don't see why it shouldn't. The thinner papers are, are looking fantastic. So this one, I have no doubt, will look equally nice. We'll soon find out. Yes, look at that. That is so cool. That was a big chunk of wax there, so it's just taking a little bit longer to melt down. So lesson learned, I will use smaller pieces and kind of sprinkle them over the page. I'm doing that just so I can break it down. Okay, let's scoot it to areas where we need it. Turn that off so I can move it along. Oh yeah, that's looking great. Ooh, I'm really tearing into that paper. I might have to cough for one of my granddaughters to get me a new sheet of wax paper. I think this one has seen the end, but let me tell you, I did a lot before it came to this right here. So what I'm going to do is actually fold that over. And I'm using the, the blunt side here because I noticed this side will tear into it, this point right here, even though it's pretty soft. But we're talking about thin paper that we're working with, so. Yep, there's some wax there. So I'll rotate it and then push the wax over onto the right. Baby, can you do me a favor, please? Granddaughters, I'll be 16, we call them babies. <laughs> can you get me a sheet of some wax paper, please, in, in the pantry? I'm in the kitchen. I found that this is the best spot to do both wax and record. Yeah, about this long right here. There we go, just a tiny bit here. A little bit less than that. Okay. Yeah, and then just tear it.
Thank you. It's nice to have assistance. <laughs> this is really inexpensive wax paper. I think it, it was a dollar. I'm using whatever I had, but it's, you're probably thinking, well, why not, why not just go out and buy some dollar wax paper? Well, because I have a ton of junk papers that I can use and old wax. And this is fun. And we're still in quarantine. I'm still not shopping outdoors. I think it's looking great. So I am pushing the wax over to get into areas where it needs it. Like that corner right there, just about done. Okay. Let's push that right there. That looks great, you guys. There's wax right here. Let's absorb some of the excess. The other thing that I will do, once I set these aside and they've cooled just a little bit, and I've absorbed as much of the wax that I can. I'll actually kind of burnish it with this uh, paper towel and I'll just kind of go over it. Just kind of smooth it out, maybe pick up any of the excess, just do it gently. Wow, I love that. Can you see that there? <gasps> that is beautiful. That looks wonderful, you guys. Look, and it feels great. Feels a lot thicker, more heavy duty, but it looks amazing. Okay, let's do, let's see, I have a few more minutes. So let's see what this avocado paper looks like. If I don't get to finish it all, well, we'll do as much as we can. This is just about done in here. So let me just break some pieces apart. Okay. I did some avocado dyeing paper yesterday, index cards, old envelopes, junk mail, some of this paper. So my mother was watching me as I was doing it and she was actually quite surprised. When she was younger, she was telling me about crafts that her and her family would do with the avocado pit and how they would create designs um, by staining fabric. 
but she had never thought about using it to dye paper. And I'm actually going to be working on, I'm working on an upcoming video. I'm just waiting to eat the avocado before I can show you how I avocado dye. And so it is a little trick that I use to get the most color out of the dye, out of the avocado pit. And so hopefully I have that video up soon, like within the next week or so. So keep an eye out for that one. Oh, this is gonna look nice. It's gonna have a really subtle pink hue. So let's move that. Helping that along by smooshing it. Once you move the heat tool away, it cools down super quick. Oh, that's looking so nice. Have you all given this a try? Let me know in the comments below if this is something you are going to give a try. Whether it's an iron, remember, a non, an iron without the steam holes, or your heat tool. I think you should, and I think once you do it, you're going to want to turn all your papers into glassine papers. Oh, I think we've got just about every corner here. I think so. Okay, let's absorb some of that excess. This one's just about done. And this, this has been the page to absorb the excess. see how much time do we have okay just a little bit I'm trying to keep my videos at about 30 minutes oh this one's gonna be fun because it has the lines on it Oh, I wonder if the, the print will transfer over onto the uh, onto the avocado dyed paper. Well, let's find out. It didn't. <laughs> it didn't. Okay, where? Well, this is fun. Next is finding ways to create projects with the, um, especially the yellow pages paper. Looks like this one just about got all waxed up just by using up the excess. looking great. I'm going to move it over and use some of the wax that's over here. Oh, 
I am loving how this is turning out. Okay, here is another Yellow Pages page. Isn't that great? That turned out fabulous, you guys. Let's take a look at the avocado dyed paper. Look at that. It feels, it feels so wonderful. Almost like plastic. Can you hear that? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Wow, that is amazing. I'm going to give that a little blast. It feels a little bit thick with wax. Let's see if a little bit more will be picked up. No, not too much, a little bit. But it'll give a good head start to be able to absorb some of that wax from the other page. And then just skewed it gently off to the sides. So if there is any excess, you've just scooted it over and ready for the next paper. Wow. I love how this turned out and it has a very subtle um, soft pink hue. Let's take a look how it looks. Can you see that? That's amazing, you guys. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and waxing new pages. I think it turned out amazing. Look at that. This one needs a little bit more, but look at that. That looks great. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know what you think about this project. And if you have any ideas on projects that I could that I could create using the faux glassine, faux vellum, just let me know. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, and I will see you next time.